Raider Nation, what's going on? Hey, you're watching the Raiders Report, and coming up here on today's show, I wanted to do something around this upcoming game against the Broncos. I didn't want to sit up here and give you keys to victory because as far as I'm concerned, Josh McDaniel's not going to listen to anything that we tell him to do anyway. So I figured this. Let's do three players who I believe deserve more playing time and three players that... Yeah, y'all should probably put your butt on the bench. Let's go to the first guy here that I want to see get more playing time. Defensive end, edge rusher, Malcolm Kuntz. The Las Vegas Raiders have 10 sacks this season. Seven belong to Max Crosby. That's just downright <laughs> disrespectful. That's just downright terrible. The Raiders need more pressure. We're going to sit up here and talk all we want about all the Raiders cornerbacks. This, all the Raiders linebackers can't cover. The game is still won in the trenches. And a totally random stat, the Raiders are 2-0 this season when Koontz plays more than seven snaps. He's played in 12 snaps one game and seven in another. But you know what? All I want is this. If that's a trend, let's keep it going. Because 10 sacks is just it's crazy to me. You go back and you look at some of the most incredible stats that I've ever seen. Over the past, like, 30 years, 40 years, Josh Dubow put this out on Twitter. The 2022 Raiders, in terms of giveaway or turnovers created and sacks, you're, like, second worst all time in the NFL. Something needs to change. And Malcolm, I thought, played well in the preseason. He does have talent. And for whatever reason, he's never been able to find his way on the field. If guys were getting after the quarterback, different conversation. But what do you got to lose? You got absolutely nothing to lose. And he's a free agent in the offseason. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to the Raiders Report, please, y'all, hit that subscribe button for more free Raiders videos. I don't want to be doing this stuff alone. I need the nation to help me get through these dog days because this season has been an absolute roller coaster of emotions. But I promise you, I'm going to give you my commitment to excellence, and I promise we're going to do fantastic videos around here. It's my new favorite word. Thanks, Mark. Let's go to a bench candidate now. We're going to go flippy floppy here. Jayon Brown, linebacker. I was excited when the Raiders got Brown because Brown, to me, over the past four seasons has showed that he can be a reliable linebacker in coverage at least that's what he was for the Tennessee Titans on the Raiders he's allowed a passer rating of 109.9 he is ranked 76th out of 82 linebackers that pro football focus is graded and Brown's going to be a free agent next year so if you know that you're not going to bring him back at least for the love of God I hope that you wouldn't bring Jayon Brown back give some of those younger rookies more work Give Darian Butler some work. Give Luke Masterson some work, even if they're not great. To me, there was more of a chance that those dudes get more reps in the future than Jayon Brown. I'm done with the Brown project. I don't want to watch it anymore. I don't want to see it. I believe he's been targeted 19 times and has given up 19 receptions. You literally can't do worse in coverage than what Jayon Brown has done. Now, maybe you could say, ah, he's not a Patrick Graham guy. Come on, man. So how about this? Name a player that you believe deserves more snaps. Because I got two more guys that deserve more, and then two more that they deserve to be on the bench. Two more. Name a player that deserves more snaps here for the Las Vegas Raiders. Offense, defense. I wish I would have put Sam Webb on this show because I definitely think that he deserves it. Thayer Munford was another player, but spoiler alert, both of those guys did not make the list. Let's go to the next guy. It's Kyle Pecko. I was very impressed from Kyle Pecko this past week, and in fact, he might have been your best defender not named Max Crosby. Seriously, like, and when you look at the defensive tackles on this roster, they're bad. Petko's PFF grade as it stands right now is 83.1. That's really good. Is it a small sample size? Yes, it absolutely is. He got 28 snaps last week, which is 43%. That should be higher. If you play well, you deserve more playing time. Petko also, this might be a, a, a crazy thing. When you go out there and you play with heart, when you go out there and actually act like you give a shit, when you go out there and listen to what you are supposed to do, you will perform better. It's a crazy idea. But to me, Pecco, every single time he was out there, he might not be the most talented player, 
But that dude showed heart. And for where I'm at right now with this Raiders team, I want dudes to go out there and show me some heart. Now, we still got some more names to get into, but today's show is presented by BetUS. If you haven't already... Go get started with our awesome sports book partner. It's the best deal on the internet. Whether you want to bet on NFL games, the NBA, college football, if you want to bet on the Raiders, <laughs> go for it. It's chatsports.com slash Raiders. Promo code Raiders125 gets you 125% deposit bonus. What does that mean? It means if you put down $100, you're going to get $125 for free to bet with. So if you're going to give Kyle Petko more playing time, that means I want to put somebody on the bench a little bit more. His name, Bilal Nichols. The Raiders should have gave him a bag of nickels for how bad he's been playing this season. I was hoping for more when he came from Chicago. I've watched this tape in Chicago. Thought it was going to be good. And here's another prime example of, oh, well, McDaniels handpicked one of his guys, and it's another handpicked that I'm sorry, you might as well be picking something else with it. Nichols is ranked 87 out of 122 defensive interior pass rushers, graded by PFF. The Raiders signed Jerry Tillery. Give him some more work. And also, get your rookies going. Matthew Butler, give him more playing time. Worst case, he's just going to get more snaps. Neil Farrell Jr., Give him more snaps. Why? Because those guys are hopefully your future. Nichols did sign a two-year deal. That I get. But I do think that you can't keep on putting him out there in these situations. And he's just not reliable. He's not reliable at this current moment. Maybe he's a player that needs a lot more playing around him or talent around him so he can shine. Some guys are like that. But below Nichols, to me, if I was a head coach, I'd say, hey, right here. Let somebody else go out there like Kyle Peck who's playing with heart. Final name here for players that deserve more time. I'm going to go with Deshaun Bauer. Deshaun Bauer might have been my favorite story for the Raiders during the preseason. I can make an argument he was the MVP of the Raiders preseason. And the Raiders preseason went pretty well. <laughs> 4-0, right? I think that's why also we had so much to look forward to for this season. Bowers is going to give you everything he's got. He's going to play with heart. He's going to give you that tenacity that you're looking for. And in the preseason this year, 32 pass rush snaps, 8 pressures, and 3 sacks. In week 10, he played in 19 snaps. That's 29% for the silver and black. Give him more. Give him more. Chandler Jones has been terrible this season. Why are we going to keep trying this Chandler Jones experiment? I get it. He's a Josh McDaniels guy. But like, there has to come a time where you're a head coach and if a player's out there doing better or if there's a player out there like Chandler Jones who's got half a sack, you got to change it up, man. So who do you think on this team needs to get benched? I got one more name coming up here on today's show. One more name coming up here that I believe needs to get benched. It's not going to be Chandler Jones because I'm not going to bench him, but does he deserve to have less playing time? Yes. Jones, less playing time. Give it to somebody like Deshaun Bauer. Give it to somebody like Malcolm Koontz. That would make me as a fan happy, honestly. The next name, though, I'm going to bring up here in terms of I actually needs a nice little sit on the bench. It's Alex Bars. Alex Bars, I don't get it. I, I don't get it at all why he's getting the amount of snaps that he's getting. He's only given up two sacks, sure. But don't be the guy that's only looking at the sack numbers. He is getting beat consistently up the middle, okay? 45.3 is his PFF grade, which is 74 out of 82 offensive guards. What I would like to see is more Illuminor at right guard. I thought Illuminor did pretty well last season at right guard, and I, and I, I want to see more growth out of Thayer Munford. You're, you can't confidently tell me that you want to bring back bars next offseason. But Munford, the more and more reps he's gotten, to me has shown growth enough where – I would hope that he could be your right tackle of the future. Because if we go into next offseason again, and I got to scream and yell, Raiders need a right tackle. Raiders need a defensive tackle. We knew what the Raiders needed this entire offseason. And they had the cap space to do it. And yet they ignored every single one of us. So to me, put bars on the bench, give more reps to Thayer Munford at right tackle, and then kick in Jermaine Illuminor at right guard. That's a long-term option. If Bars was out there just kicking ass and taking names, 
different discussion. Hasn't been the case. So here we go, y'all. Three players that I believe deserve more playing time. It's Malcolm Kuntz, Kyle Pecko, Deshaun Bauer. And then three players that I would love to see their asses on some benches. Jayon Brown, Bilal Nichols, and Alex Bars. So are you a real one? Did you make it this far in the video? I appreciate people that stay tuned to all these shows. I know how frustrating the season is. If you can't tell, man, I speak with my chest. I speak with my heart. But if you're watching at the end of these shows, I know you're a real one. So spam R-O-4-L down in the comments.